What's going on YouTube? It's the Trolley Bully back and today we're going Pokemon hunting. But before we do that, I just want to let you guys know, once we hit 250 subscribers, I will be giving away this beautiful GMA 10 Gyarados from Hidden Fates. So yes, once we hit 250 subscribers, this will be going out for free to one of you guys. All you have to do is subscribe and then in the future I will make another video on how to enter for the giveaway. So just keep your eyes open for that. Just want to give this way to show thank you for all your support that you've shown me but now let's head to target and get to our video so let's go so first up is target now this is one of their pokemon sections as you can see the arcuna right there a couple little figures some toys nothing crazy right there typically the cards are on the next aisle well i say they are anyways um you can see this figure right there but there's nothing really great card wise. I'm gonna walk around and see if I can't find where they moved it to. As you guys can see, they've moved the cards now back to the books. So, there's a couple of single blisters there of uh, Darkness of Blaze, Chilling Rain, and Brilliant Stars. And so I just looked over here to this random rack, and you can see all the product that they have over here. Well, and some kids have been having some fun over here. But you can see they have celebrations, playmat collections, some Brilliant Star GTB, some battle decks. Empoleon and Tyranitar tins. I've never opened one, but I've heard good things about them. They have the Calyrex Shadow and Ice Riders, tons of Leafeons, one, two Glaceons collections, and the stackable tins, which I will not be opening because honestly, they're nothing better than just normal blisters. So I am going to come over here and pick up three blister packs. Let's do one Chilling Rain, one Brilliant Stars, and one Darkness of Blaze. Alright, so now let's go check out and head on to the next store. Up next, CBS. Let's see what they got. So typically, they don't have the best selection, and CVS is very overpriced, typically, but I will look and see if they have anything. So, it looks like the girl section, and they actually do have a few single of Fusion Strike, and they do have these Pokeball tins, which is D21, which means they are the Cosmic Eclipse one. So, I don't, I'm assuming it's three packs, so for 20 bucks right there, I'm good on that. I think at Walmart and Target they're like $12.99, so for 20 bucks, yeah, I'm out. But that's all for CBS. Next up, Walmart. Alright, so let's go to Walmart. Let's check up front, see if they got anything, which looks like they have a decent selection of sports, but that's not what we're here for. So, I do see... So they had two brilliant stars and three fusion strike, but let's go check the back, because that is not what we're looking for. So, we made it to the back. Absolutely nothing. Not a single car, packer, anything. So, on to our last stop, which is GameStop. You guys, just got back in the car from GameStop, and as you can see from the photo, they actually had a lot of stock in. So, we got these Pokeballs that should have Cosmic Eclipse in it. Went ahead and grabbed this Galar tin, which also should have Cosmic Eclipse in it. And uh, just three sleeved booster packs of uh, Chilling Rain brilliant stars and one of fusion strike so let's get home and let's get cracking welcome back guys so i made it home uh pokeball galar 10 so throughout the day we got two brilliant stars two chilling rains a fusion strike and a darkness ablaze so let's go ahead and tear into it all right i struggled with that longer than i would like to admit but I did get it open, so, and we got, oh wow, 
This coin is really sick. It is a red Urshifu. That is the first time I'm seeing that coin. That is really, really nice. I actually thoroughly enjoyed that one. So we got a Cosmic Eclipse, a Vivid Voltage, and a Rebel Clash. So let's set these to the side. And if I'm correct, this tin should also contain a Cosmic Eclipse in it. So let's hope it does. Right. There's our Suicune coin. Yep, there it is. It contains a Cosmic Eclipse and a Rebel Clash. So, there's our tins. Set that to the side. Let's start cracking. So, first up, there are two Rebel Clashes. Not the most popular set, as there's nothing really crazy in it to pull. So there's your code card, and one, two, three, and four to the front. So, Energy, Olena, Twin Energy, Heliosk, Phantom, Vulpix, Bunnelby, Galarian, Damaruka, Appelin, a Snover Reverse, and a Vickavolt Hollow. That hollow goes very nice with the Vicavolt because it's electric and it kind of looks kind of looks electric. So that's a cool looking card. Okay, well this pack just disintegrated. So there is your code card. One, two, three, and four to the front. Alright, let's see if we can get better pulls out of this second one. So Energy, Tranquil, Horror Energy, Heatmore, Natsu, Horn Edge, Impidimp, Magmar, Electabuzz, Dan, The Reverse, and an Arcanine. So, and that is why people call that Rebel Trash. <laughs> Alright, so Vivid Voltage, of course, you know, we're always looking for that rainbow Pikachu. Maybe today's the day we'll finally get it. There's your code card. I feel like I will never pull that card. I will always forever be on the hunt for it. So, Energy, Shuckle, Cramorant, Drone Rotom, C Dot, Electrike, Clefairy, Fanpy. Yanma. Ooh, a reverse Charizard. Even for this to be a reverse hollow, actually is pretty desirable to most because it is Charizard, so not terrible. And a Well Lord Hollow. So I guess at least we are getting hits, but they are not the hits that we are looking for. But if there were gonna be any set to renew our luck in, it would be Cosmic Eclipse. Everybody loves Cosmic Eclipse. It has got some really, really cool tag team arts and cards in there. And you can just get amazing pulls from this set. So this set is a favorite by many. So Energy, Discontinued Fairy Energy, <laughs> Gloom, and Rent, Larvesta, Passamian, Ralts, Alolan Meowth, Sfeel, Sneasel, a reverse crab brawler and a hollow decidueye. I am the king of pulling hollows. So if you ever want a holographic card, just let me open your pack. It sucks that that takes up a hit slot that could be a V or better, but I guess it is better than just a normal card. So there is the code card. One, two, three, and to the front. So, Energy, Curlia, Cricketune, Clay, Rufflet, Azuril, a Chinchow, a Carvana, a Crabrawler, not reverse, 
in a crab brawler reverse so that's three crab brawlers in two packs so and an alolan sand slash so not the best packs out of there let's hope our single blisters have better luck so let's tear into this darkness ablaze of course always hoping for the charizard as you do in pretty much any set that has a charizard so let's see there's your code card one two three and four to the front start us off with energy a billowing smoke a heat energy maybe that's good omen for a charizard really can't Marini, Torchic, Starly, Skarmory, Pansage, a Starly Reverse. Oh, let's go! Let's go! Let's freaking go! Oh my goodness. Let's put that baby in a sleeve. Oh, I, of course now I can't get the sleeve open, but let's freaking go. Oh my goodness. And I can't even get it in there. Let's go. I cannot believe we just pulled that right now. I cannot believe it. I called it. I freaking called it. And of course, it was the heat energy mixed. And let's freaking go. Now I can stop. I will never have to buy another Darkness Ablaze anything in my life. Let's go, man. Let's go. I am so hyped right now. We can pull, like... I don't even care we pulled nothing out of the beginning packs. We could pull nothing the rest of this pack, and I will be completely happy because I've been trying to pull that card for months. Ever since I started collecting and I figured out that that was a card, I've been trying to pull that. Let's freaking go. So there's your code card. I am so hyped right now. Let's go. Sorry, keep repeating myself, but I am too hyped right now. Dunsparce, Grimomatic, Onyx, with a very, very light crimpage. I don't think my camera's going to get it, but it does have a light crimp on it. And I've never pulled a crimped card before, so I will set that off to the side, because I do know there are people who do collect crimped cards. So, a Reverse and a Quarter Knight. So, I will set that to the side. If any of y'all are interested in crimped cards, let me know. It's not, I'll go ahead and show that again. It's not insane, but you can see it is very, very faint right there. And if you're touching the card, you can feel, you can feel the crimp in it. But it's a very, very light crimp. Alright, so we have two Chilling Rains. Let's see. I would love that Blaziken or any of the legendary birds would be nice. So there's your code card. Blaziken or any legendary bird is what I'm after. So, Energy, Kakuna, Karen's Conviction, Scroll of Piercing, Weedle, Clobopus, Ralts, Castform Rainy, Snover, Galarian Slowpoke Reverse, and a Gallade. So, I know a lot of people don't like Chilling Rain, as they call it Chilling Pain, but to me, it's got some of the cooler arts out of any set, in my opinion. I just think they're really, really awesome. So, it's slowly and surely becoming one of my favorite sets. Even though the pull rates aren't insane, but when you do get a pull, it just it's almost always rewarding because of how good the pull rates are. Or, not how good the pull rates are, but how good the artwork is. So, Weeding Gloves, Echoing Horn, Diglett. Golette, Deerling, a Sneasel, a Galarian Farfetched, an Ampharos, and a Spiritomb. So, neither of those Chili Greens had anything. So, down to our last two Brilliant Stars. Wow, the glue on that one was really weak. That one basically jumped out the pack at me. Alright. And then that one's... Wow, that's folded up. I've never seen one folded up like that before. That's really weird. Alright. Save the Charizard pack to last. 
have to. All right, let's get that open. All right, let's see what we can get out of here. So there's your code card. One, two, three, and four to the front. All right, so we got energy, a torque hole, a Roseanne's backup, a Proba Pass, a Nose Pass. Well, that's cool. Nose Pass and Proba Pass. A De Dene, a Cub Chew, a Shinx, a Farfetched, a Single Strike Urshifu. Very nice. I am a huge fan of the Trainer Gallery slash Character Rear set. I think they are really, really cool. And now to have a full art one is really nice. And we end it with a Lucario Hollow. So let me just get a sleeve out for that. Go ahead and sleeve it up. Nothing crazy, but I do enjoy this card. It is very, very nice. So, well, we can set Urshifu right here next to the coin. So, it's kind of poetic that we pull them both at the same time. And now, last but not least, if I can even get it open. Last but not least, here's the Charizard pack. And it would be really cool to get the Rainbow's art or the alt art. I'd prefer the alt art, that's my chase, but definitely not picky with any Charizard. All right, four to the front. Let's see if we can get some last pack magic. Leaf Energy, Starmie, Cynthia's Ambition, Sharon's Care. Ooh, this Burmy has some crimp on it too. Some very, very light crimp. Not sure if you can see it. Uh, you can see it a little bit right there. Yep. So that's crazy. I've never had a crimped card and now I've pulled two in one opening. Impidimp, Staryu, Riolu, Starly. Choice Belt Reverse, and a Professor's Research Hollow. So, we ended with a ton of hollows, which is cool, because I mean, they're better than nothing, but it's also disheartening, because you know that could have been anything, like a V or better, but it is what it is. But I cannot get over this Charizard, Come on, you have to leave a like on the video for this Charizard alone. It's a very sick card. So, and it's the first very nice Charizard I've ever pulled. So, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, uh, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. This is a little bit longer video. It's the first time I've tried the vlog style to take you on my hunting adventures with me. Um, if you like that, please let me know in the comments. If you don't like it, let me know in the comments and I won't do it again. So just leave me some feedback. Tell me what you think. And thanks for watching.